office. And here we go. Can everyone hear me? Can yes. y'all hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Lawson. Okay, there we go. I'm on my other computer. Thank you. And we're we're alive, correct, Vice? Good afternoon, senior parents. Um, we are so excited that you're joining us this evening to learn more about graduation and the senior act, um, activities that we have planned for the remaining of this um, semester. You're going to receive some important information regarding graduation. Um, so if you would like to write some information down, just please make sure you have your notepad and pens handy or you may type it in your computer. We are recording this session and Ms. Bice will send it out um, at, at the conclusion of the meeting. I am Latasha Simmons, the assistant principal that serves 11th and 12th grade. On behalf of our proud principal, Dr. Elthel Leck, I just wanna welcome you once again. I have our wonderful senior counselor, Michelle Dance on the call. Our senior sponsor and admin assistant, Carmina Woods on the call. Um, and she directly, her grade level is seniors. So she's all things seniors for the admin. Um, Deidre Leonard, our graduation coach and our graduation sponsor, Ashley Beist. Um, so once again, on behalf of the senior committee, welcome. We do have a lot of pertinent information for you this evening. So please make sure you have something handy to write the information down and you can take pictures, um, whatever method you prefer. As a friendly reminder, please make sure um, that your scholars have signed up for the class of 2022 Remind. They can do so by texting, by sending a text to 81010. And remember they're signing up by their last name. So A through G, J, I'm a G through PAI, and then PAI through Z, that information is on your screen. It is also on the website. And once again, parents, you will receive this information at the conclusion of the meeting. And now I'm gonna turn it over to the wonderful senior committee to give you some more pertinent information. Okay. Okay, there it goes. I think my mic is on. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay, so our first thing are senior dues. Um, if you are in need of knowing how much you owe for senior, senior dues, um, you can contact me via email, lawsoncw at fullertoschools.org. But the senior dues, the fees are $235. And as you can see, all these things are included in that price. Uh, $50 for the yearbook, $100 for graduation and visions, the senior breakfast, picnic, uh, they are receiving another shirt, and the $10 OSP fee. We do not have any separate packages and there are no other uh, a la carte items that coincide with that 235, that 235 it are the senior fees. They are the senior dues total. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, class of 2022 community service, um, Ms. Bice, um, if we send this out on Remind, um, we would like you guys to complete this form. If you have done any form of community service throughout high school, um, we need this information for um, a couple of different reasons. There is a spot for you to upload proof of your community service. Um, and then if you don't have like a certificate or something that you've earned from it or a letter saying, you know, from whoever your sponsor was saying that you did it, there's a place for you to also put the contact number, um, but it is required to have some sort of proof for your form of, communi of community service. And we'll send this out on our mind. This is due tomorrow.
Caps and gowns are purchased through Herf Jones. Um, cap and gowns should have already been ordered at this point. So if you have not ordered your cap and gown, please do so now. I'm I'm pretty sure the price has already gone up. Um, this is to secure your correct size for your cap and gown. Um, because once it gets to be too late, they're just going to have extra on hand um, due to the fact that there's not going to be enough turnaround to get the right size to you. So please, if you have not done this, please do so before we go on spring break so that you can get the correct cap and gown size for you. And again, it's through Herc Jones. This is not included in senior dues. This is a total separate different payment. Thank you, Graduation Mr. is May 23rd from 6 to 8 at the Gateway Center. Parking is $10 per vehicle. So it's the normal Georgia International Convention Center parking. Um, so it's $10 per vehicle. We highly suggest you carpool so that you don't have to pay that $10 parking, but so much. Um, and again, the Gateway Center is the arena that's right next door to the Georgia International Convention Center. So it's in the same parking lot. It's just right next door. All right, what everybody has been asking us is tickets. All graduates who are cleared for graduation, meaning you have paid your senior dues, you are cleared academically, you don't have any outstanding fees or payments towards Tri-Cities High School or Fulton County, all cleared graduates will receive eight tickets, and these will be given on May 12th. So it's eight tickets. For this year, there is no option of getting any more tickets unless you find somebody who isn't using theirs and you ask them if they want, you know, if you want to get their tickets, that's fine. But we will not be providing any extra tickets for any graduate for no reason. Prohibited items are normal arena items that you cannot bring. That's balloons, confetti, air horns, posters, balloons, um, banners, no coolers, no food and drink, none of that. Um, mass policy is based off of the City of College Park, which right now is just, they recommend you wear a mask, but it is not required. So please just follow um, mask mandates for the City of College Park as we get closer to graduation to see if anything changes. And then bag policy, again, goes along with most arenas. Um, we highly suggest that you don't bring a bag at all. If a bag is needed, it must be clear and they cannot be tinted with a cover or oversized. And only non-clear bags smaller than four and a half by six and a half are permitted, except for medical bags. And there is a metal detector as you enter in as well. Um, no one is allowed to get into the arena until an hour before the ceremony. Um, so doors will not open until an hour before the ceremony. So graduation starts at six. Doors won't open until five. Um, and this is also partly due because it's mo more than one graduation happening on each day. So there is a graduation before us. So you are only allowed to enter in an hour before the ceremony. Again, parking is $10 per vehicle. No food and drinks will be allowed to enter the building and none will be served. There will also be no water options to buy as well. And seating is first come, first serve. And students must ride the bus to graduation. Parents and guardians will take their graduates from the Gateway Center, but to get to the venue, all graduates must be, um, must report to Tri-Cities High School in the main gym. Um, we'll give you the exact time as we get closer to the day of graduation. We're thinking about 3 p.m. so that we have time to bus all the graduates over there, get them to the holding room, and get them prepared for the actual ceremony. So no student is allowed to drive to the venue. They have to ride the school bus and report to Tri-Cities High School beforehand. Village photographers, um, please, please, please go ahead and sign up here. This has to be done before the ceremony. All graduates will be photographed through Village Photographers. And they will send an email to you that you put into this um, form that they have 
and then you can purchase those pictures from the venue. Even if you're hesitant on whether or not you even want to buy them or you know for a fact you don't want to buy them, please go ahead and fill it out anyway because your mind might change after graduation. There's not going to be an opportunity for parents to take photos inside the Gateway Center. So this is your only time to get a photo with your student at graduation inside the venue because the students will procession in as parents are sitting down. They will procession out as parents are sitting down and they will be out of the venue by the time you get a chance to take a photo of them. So we highly recommend that you go ahead and do this. Whether or not you even think that you want them, just go ahead and sign up now. And again, we'll send this out on our mind and we'll put it into the chat as well. Miss Woods, would you like to do this slide? Um, okay, it just popped up. Mine is working a little slower than everyone else's. Okay, cap decorating requirements. Uh, these are the requirements. We are allowing students to decorate their cap for graduation. Uh, just take into consideration that there are some rules with decorating your caps. Um, the, they're actually listed here. Contain any, it can, uh, with your cap decorating, students will not be allowed to participate in the ceremony without a cap and a gown. And keep in mind that on that cap, the cap has to contain, it cannot, it contains any advertisement, symbols, abbreviation, initials, words, slogans, patches, or pictures that refer to drugs or controlled substances, tobacco, alcohol, or weapons, or be of a sexual nature. None of that can be on a cap. And these are guidelines, not just for caps. Just remember, these are code of conduct guidelines that are outlined in our code of conduct. These things are not allowed in any school function. Denote uh, your cap cannot denote an affiliation with a gang or which advocates drug use, violence, illegal activity, or disruptive behavior, which is det detrimental to the safety and welfare of other students. It cannot be obscene, profane, vulgar, or lewd. Uh, that means you cannot put any profane words on it, no profanity at all. It, it can include numbers other than the graduation year. Threaten, it cannot threaten the safety and welfare of any other person. Um, appropriate things that you can put on your cap and gown, Thank you to your parents, grandparents, teachers, or friends. Uh, recognize the university you may be attending or your actual career goal after graduation, or even maybe if you're going into the military, a branch of the military. It can include your graduation year or your home country's flag, because we do have students who are not originally from the United States who may want to represent the country they are from. And if you're in doubt and do not really are not sure whether or not you can include those things on your cap, just see one of one of the graduation committee members, myself, Ms. Simmons, Ms. Dance, or Ms. Bice, and we'll be able to inform you if it's appropriate or not. And nothing should be hanging off your cap off your cap. Um, for graduation and visions. Um, Visions is May 15th at 10 a.m. in the main gym at Tri-Cities High School. Um, we'll put that in the chat and also send that out on remind. but Visions this year is May 15th at 10 a.m. at Tri-Cities High School in the main gym. We will send out a report time as we get closer to that date. Typically, it's about two hours prior to the ceremony starting. Um, for both graduation and visions, students or girls must wear black dress, short or long sleeved. You can wear a dress pant or skirt with a black blouse. No heels. Um, you'll receive white pearl earring necklace set as well that you will wear so that all girls are in uniform. You can wear a class ring and watch. For graduation, you will also wear your cap and gown. Cap and gown is not worn at visions. It's solely for graduation and make sure your hairstyle is such that you can put your cap on. Um, 
don't wear a ponytail or something because it won't sit nicely on your on your head. No cell phones, purses, gum chewing, headphones, um, sunglasses are allowed at either visions or graduation. And then cords are for honor societies only and those that are mentioned here. Males, same thing, no cell phones, no gum chewing, no headphones, only cords for honor societies. And for your attire, it's dress, black slacks, longer short sleeve white dress shirt, black dress shoes, black socks, a red tie or bow tie that we will provide to you. And hair, again, should be such that you can put your cap on so it doesn't fall off. And again, cap and gowns are just for graduation, not visions. Ms. Dance. The singer's slideshow submission. Um, the last day to submit your pictures will be April the 15th. Please make sure you submit these pictures. This slideshow will be presented the day of our senior breakfast. Checking outstanding fees. Uh, please log on to um, the Go Fulton County homepage. Look for class link and that's to the um, far right side on the um, right hand side. Sign in and click on the e-library icon. It looks like what you see on the screen. Then you'll sign into Destiny. In the upper right hand corner, click My Info tab. Any fees for textbooks or devices will appear. Look at the bottom of the page for notes. Any additional fees for senior dues, uniforms, clubs, will be included at the bottom. Graduation requirements. You should have received a letter from me from the senior support team indicating what tier that you are on or your student is on. Tier one means you're all set for graduation. You just need to re, um, pass those required classes for this semester. Tier two means that you're on track for graduation, but you're taking some key classes that you passed in the um, that you failed in the past. And tier three means that you may not make it. You need to see me immediately. In addition to graduation requirements, folks, we have a lot of people that are not passing. Teachers are concerned. If you are currently failing, please touch bases with your teachers. Parents, please log on to Infinite Campus just to monitor your child's progress. And seniors, please keep in mind that you must pass fine arts. That means if you're taking art with Ms. Nippingberg or Mr. Sandler, you need to pass those fine art classes. In addition to fine arts, you have to pass personal fitness and health. Those two PE classes are necessary in addition to your core academic classes. This is the prom. It's going to be Harlem Nights, a night in Harlem and Harlem Renaissance, excuse me, is scheduled for April the 29th, 2022. The doors open at 7 p.m. Um, the tickets right today until midnight is 1.30. They go up to 1.50 tomorrow, April 1st. Mm -hmm. So please come out and join us. It's always a beautiful occasion and we haven't had a prom in two years, so you will really enjoy it. For early dismissal, um, this is key. You have to be in school for half of the day if the prom is given on that day. So students must complete a permission slip below and return it by Friday, April the 22nd. Students will receive their prom tickets, prom rules, and early release pass by Wednesday, April the 27th. Students will report to the front atrium to check themselves out. Students will leave out of the uh, front atrium doors and head to the magnet parking lot to leave campus. And you'll receive these permission slips the week of the 22nd, so you'll receive it the 18th and just need to get back to us by that Friday. And that's it. Miss Dance, can you talk about FAFSA, please? Yes, um, parents, it's critical that students complete their FAFSA form. This is a requirement ma mandated by Fulton County Schools. I'm meeting with them weekly. We still have over 210 students that need to complete the FAFSA. Please, please, please see me if you need assistance with completing the FAFSA. 
Tomorrow, we will have Georgia Gwinnett College on site doing instant admissions. So if you're interested in applying or if you haven't applied to any schools, any colleges, please meet us in the media center during your respective lunches and there will be a representative on campus to um, take a look at your transcript and to admit you on site. Scholarships will be also awarded. And we have a few questions here. Um, one question was, are tickets per graduate? And the answer is yes. So I know we have a few twins. Each twin will get a set of tickets. That's because each twin is also paying the full amount of senior dues. So it's based on graduates. So even if they're siblings and a family, each graduate receives that. <laughs> um, why are we getting so many emails, phone calls, and text messages daily? Um, to inform you all of what's going on, we often get um, in, um, complaints that we're not informing parents and students about what's going on in the school. Unfortunate, whoever sent it out, they didn't lump everything together. We do apologize about that. You're getting the calls and we're getting the calls as well. <laughs> Dan, some, some people are getting error messages when trying to complete the FAFSA. Please see me. Um, that means you've done something um, incorrectly perhaps you didn't indicate your dependents properly or um, you didn't indicate if you are filing independent or as a emancipated minor so please come and see me in f122 dance what's your email my email is dance d-a-n-c-e at fultonschools.org and i just placed that in the chat Someone wants to know, is a dancing panda on a bagel, would that be appropriate? Uh, bring it to us and let us see it and we'll let you know. Right. The dates for graduation um, and visions practice, we'll send that out as um, soon as we get our um, calendar approved. Okay, and someone said, what if you didn't receive a letter? That means your address is not correct in the system because the majority of the letters went certified mail. So if your name, if you did not receive a letter from me, um, you will need to see me in F122 so that we can make sure you're on track. There was um, this meeting email. is being recorded and it'll be on our YouTube channel and it'll be sent out through Remind. Someone wants to know when was the email with graduation requirements sent? Um, that was sent via US Postal Mail. And that went out, I think it went out late February, early March. Um, like I said, some went out certified, some went out regular mail. If your child or if you did not receive anything, that means your address is not correct in Infinite Campus. Please see me in F122 and I can provide you with that information. Um, community service hours are not required for graduation. We are just wondering who in the senior class has done any community service. And um, a question we keep getting is, if you have a ticket, um, you can sit anywhere. Yes, as you sit anywhere that guests are sitting, it's first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was a question about younger. Yes, younger siblings are required a ticket. It's only two and under. Um, sorry, under two does not need a ticket and they will have to sit on your lap. They cannot take up a seat. So it's under two does not require a ticket and they must sit on a lap. Hey, Ms. Bison, somebody's, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Bice, go back to that slide with the question and answer regarding um, the graduation. Yes, ma'am. This slide? Yes, ma'am. Just to make sure everyone is aware. Once again, parents, eight tickets, as Ms. By stated, per person. Every um, child two and over will need a ticket. Two and over will need a ticket. Um, only kids under two who are sitting in your lap will not need a ticket, but everyone else, they will require a ticket. And make sure you go over the back policy, your back must be clear folks it's just like if you're going down to the mercedes-benz stadium 
You have to have a clear bag. So please make sure you have a clear bag because they're not going to let you in. Um, Woods, there's a question on senior activities. OK, I'm sorry, but I can't see any questions. Can you all tell me what the question is? I can't see anything with in the it chat. It just asks, when are the senior activities? So right now we are, they are pending per our principal's uh, approval. So once we get things approved, you all will receive a calendar with all the dates of the activities that will commence um, later on this, later on in May, right after um, spring break and all that. And someone wants you to put up the information about the, um, the senior dues. Put put it up. Put it up where? Right here. Oh, you talking about on the screen? Okay. Yes. Um, there's a question about senior clearance. Um, Ms. Simmons, can you go over senior clearance, please? Yes, ma'am. Um, the last the last day for seniors on campus is May sixth. Um, so seniors will take their finals. Seniors. Um, will be finished with finals by May 6th, unless they have an AP exam um, the following week. So once again, last day for seniors to report to Tri-Cities High School for instructional purpose is on Friday, May 6th. We will work extremely hard, teachers will grade, to ensure um, that we have seniors academically cleared for graduation by May the 11th. Once again, we're going to work extremely hard to make sure that we have seniors clear. They do know they will know their status. And as Miss Dan stated earlier, the tiered letters were sent home. So you should know if your student is on tier one, meaning if graduation was today, they will meet those graduation requirements, assuming they pass all their classes this semester. Tier two, meaning um, that they still have a couple of classes that they need to make up. And those classes are built into the academic day. And then tier three, um, they are severely off track. Um, there's a probability that those students may or may not graduate with us. But Ms. Dance and Ms. Leonard and the senior team has been working extremely hard to ensure that those students have the classes that they need for graduation built into their day, as well as extended learning classes. So those students on tier three have classes in the instructional day as well as outside the instructional day. And if they do everything they're supposed to do, there's a strong probability that they will be able to graduate. Hence, after May 6th, your students will only come on campus for senior breakfast, senior picnic, um, um, visions practice, and then graduation practice. They will not come on campus daily. Um, once again, we, we will send that information out to you via email. I know y'all are tired of getting the emails, but I want to make sure that you do receive the information. So we will send that out via email. We will post that calendar on our website in our Remind app and in our Tri-Cities app, as well as ensure the seniors have a copy of their schedule when they're um, due on campus for those practices. If we're not practicing, if it's not a senior breakfast, the senior picnic, it is imperative that those students do not come on campus unless it's a sanctioned event. Because once again, after May 6th, they will be finished with their instructional classes unless they have an AP exam. So we'll make sure that you um, have access to that calendar once it goes through your pro proper approval channels um we had to make one tweak hence we took it down from our presentation tonight um just to ensure that we're sending out correct information so we did have to make one change hence that's why you don't have that calendar tonight okay there's a question about will the graduation be streamed since tickets are limited <laughs> So I know that that was discussed uh, when we went. Um, we're still working on finalizing the streaming portion. Um, once we get that information, we will convey that information to parents. 
Um, but until it is finalized, we cannot say yes, it will be streamed or no, it, it is not. Okay. And, um, and that question, I'm sorry, Dance. In that question, um, we are working with um, Fulton County to ensure that graduate to it to to check to see if they are if we're able to stream it. I mean, that's not only Tri Cities High School working with them. That's all of our South Fulton High Schools are work working to ensure um, the graduation is accessible um, to parents who may not have enough tickets for their entire family to attend. Uh, is it too late for yearbook pages? Yes, yearbook has already been submitted. Do um, you have to be vaccinated? No, you do not have to be vaccinated. I the, take cap and gown. Does that include senior dues? No, senior dues and cap and gown are totally separate. Um, senior dues does not include cap and gown, and both are required in order to um, attend graduation. And yes, the time for graduation has changed. It was originally five to seven. However, we chose to push it back an hour due to there being a ceremony before. We wanted to make sure there was plenty of time for the venue to clear out the previous school and make sure it's clean and ready for y'all to be in there safely. How much are cap, caps and gowns? They were like 91.59. I don't know exactly what they are now because the price has gone up. So you just go to hearthjones.com um, to order your cabinet gown, and that link has been published in the chat. Um, somebody said, senior dues, can you just pay for graduation? No, um, most of that money goes to graduation anyway. It's a one-stop shop. There are no payment options. Dance, do you see any other questions? No, I do not. No. No, ma'am. Do you have anything else for the parents? Oh, I want to mention one other thing. Um, folks, I'm getting calls daily that our students are not applying for the scholarships that I'm po I'm posting. I know it's a lot of information that's coming across Remind, but it's good information. The information that we're sending via Remind are scholarship information and information about graduation at this time. It's either graduation, prom, or scholarship information. Um, one, two scholarships in particular that students have not applied for is Gus Thornhill, which is right around the corner from us. Um, the lady told me only one student has submitted um, the application for the $1,500, and that student is at Creekside. Gus Thornhill is like 10 minutes away from the school. It's located in East Point, and usually at least two to three seniors get something, a $1,500 scholarship from Gus Thornhill. So please do not allow this money to go outside our community to Creekside High School. Please make sure you apply. In addition to the Gus Thornhill, the Alumni Association has about $5,000 that they give away each year. She called this morning as well. Only one person has submitted their application for the Alumni Association scholarship. And then there's another one, a Greater Temple Church. Um, I think theirs is like five or $600. No one has submitted an application for that one. The PTSA, no one has submitted an application for that. So parents and students, please do not say that we're not providing you all with opportunities to earn these scholarships. They're out there. We just need you to sit down, fill those out, and submit those. Ms. Woods, when will the senior jackets arrive? According to um, the company, they said they should receive them right after spring break. But they extended the date again. I don't know why, but they extended the date again until um, last Friday. And so they do not do each individual jacket. They do the group to send the group, that group order to us. And so that's what, what the delay was. So the jackets will be here after spring break. Is there a designated time for them for seniors to get their shirt? What shirt? 
The original shirt. Uh, <laughs> okay. So they can come get it anytime. We have those boxed up. They've been here. I've been trying to give them out. We've had several opportunities for the for the seniors to actually pick up their shirts. If they want the senior shirts, they are still here. They just have to come by J108 and let me know that they, they want their shirt. Cabin gowns will be a uh, cabin gowns are delivered to the school. We will pass those out um, when we take our senior photo out on the football field. So they will get them then. Um, it's about like a week or two prior to graduation starting. Uh, how much are senior dues again? Two thirty-five. Our vision guest limited. Um. No. They no. They're not. How do we find out our balance in senior dues? You can come see. You can you can email me, Miss Lawson. You can email me at lawsoncw at fultonschools.org, or you can come by to see me, or you can drop it in in the remind or the Teams. I'm on all those all, all those platforms. When do you need this uh, photographer's QR code sign? Um, it has to be before graduation. Um, the recording for this will be on our YouTube channel. We'll also send it out on our mind. And then somebody asked, will you get a notice about whose cabin gown has been received? Um, Herf Jones is the one who is gonna pass out cabin gowns based on who ordered and paid for them. Um, so if you need to confirm that your cabin gown has been ordered, you can call Herf Jones to confirm that you have purchased and ordered the cap and gown. Also, we arrived late. Where can we view the recording of today's webinar? YouTube and Remind. What if we need the cap and gowns for announcements? Is there a way to get them sooner? There is not. Um, cap and gown photos were also taken with Katie Studios. So if you need a cabin gown photo and you did not take the ones that go in the yearbook, you can also reach out to Katie Studios and see about taking a photo with them. They have um, one of our cap and gowns there. That's all the questions I see. Do you have anything else to add? Ms. Simmons? No, ma'am, I do not. Um, by once we finish, can you send me the PDF so I can send it out to the senior parents? Yes, ma'am. So um, parents, you will receive another email from me, but it will be the information we um, went over today. And thank you so much for coming.